Cultural Partnership represents the 12 local authorities and the five regional universities, as well as venues from around the North East, and we come together to coordinate and campaign for culture to be at the heart of the region's economic regeneration. When I came to live 15 years ago, there were a couple of you know, great theatre producers and well-known theatre producers like Live. And now there are lots of independent companies, uh, startups with their own, trying to create their own venues as well. And that has spread around the region. So also in, in Teesside, the same thing is happening. Theatre Hullabaloo make, tour and produce theatre for young audiences. Um, and our audiences are aged from 0 to 16 years old and all the grown-ups in their lives. We also programme the annual Takeoff Festival of Theatre for Children and Young People, which is England's leading festival of its type, and that takes place each year um, in and around Durham. The inherent diversity that exists in this region goes back to Hadrian's Wall. <laughs> so having the opportunity to share the work of international artists, whether they are guests or whether they are collaborators or whether they are partners, is yet another way of deepening the conversation that we have with our audiences. By the very nature, the arts and cultural sectors are international and without a fluidity of exchange and dialogue and sharing of all the wondrous things that we do, the world would be a much drier place with a much more limited perspective. I think in its 15 year history we've shown the work of artists from 55 different countries. In the last year alone we've worked with museums in, in Paris and Madrid, several cities in Germany and in the United States. Sage Gates Head is an international music centre on the banks of the Tyne. Part of our core mission is uh, to be an international centre and to engage in international exchange. We're also home to Bold Northern Symphonia, the region's orchestra. Later on this year, they're going to China, South America, mainland Europe. We also bring about 30% of our artists that appear on our stages have some kind of international uh, element to the show. Either they are coming from overseas or they're performing work which is from overseas. I was born and raised in Newcastle and after a few years at Dance City, I went on to uh, train at the London Contemporary Dance School. Our aim in 2018 is to uh, welcome four of some of the great um, uh, Martha Graham practitioners based in America to deliver workshops, classes, repertoire, not only for um, dancers here in ESC, but those who are non-dancers. It's this idea of being global citizens, inspiring and raises, raising aspirations for communities is only a positive thing really. I think a lot of people who come to the North East, whether as tourists or for business reasons, are surprised by the diversity of its heritage and the richness of its heritage. Um, and it's a bit of a hidden gem. One of the good examples from the North East is Hadrian's Wall World Heritage Site, which is a transnational World Heritage Site. More than 60% of all tourists that are coming into the North East are brought here by the heritage of the North East. If you think about the attractors that really bring people in from outside the region, it's Durham Cathedral, it's Hadrian's Wall, it's the natural heritage in Northumberland, uh, and it's places like Beamish. And it's those sites and the investment that we make in those sites that's so important. We have some fantastic cultural places here and we'd like to invite more people to come and experience um, and learn about our heritage, our arts and our culture. So over the next few years there'll be an increasing number of um, sites and opportunities for engagement that we really want the rest of the world to come and share with us. We've got some amazing internationally focused festivals. The Stockton International Riverside Festival welcomes outdoor artists from Korea, from Australia, from China. They're already making an impact and we want to invest in those and new festivals to create even more impact as we go forward. 
So the Great Exhibition is going to appeal to a very wide range of audiences, uh, both in the north but also across the wider UK and indeed internationally. And it's going to be part of the great campaign that is shown in over 100 countries across the world. Our objective is to raise awareness amongst a greater number of international visitors of all the fantastic things that are happening in, here in the north. We attract so many businesses from around the world who want to invest here, but anyone coming to work here wants to know that it's more than just a place to do business. And that's really where our very special heritage and culture and all the arts that's available here make such a difference. It's where this region is really able to impart the huge passion that it has for everything in its buildings, in its livelihood, in everything that happens around this region. And it's indeed what attracts so many people from every corner of the globe. I think there are many, many incredibly gifted artists uh, living and working in the Northeast. And I think what's happening now in the, in the world with the kind of shrinking of, of borders and distances through things like the web, we have an opportunity, all of us, to go to other places to seek collaboration. We are, of course, a very long way from, from London, and we have Scotland just on our border. But actually, the advantage that that brings us is that we have a, an ability to work very well together as a community, but it also, I think, makes us look out. There are clear benefits to international working in the cultural sector. The very active partnering and collaboration grows the market, and it also, perhaps more importantly, enhances our reputation. It brings new ideas and new ways of working and our own artists and performers and producers um, take their great ideas to other countries. So either way we, we raise our game.